Hey there, this is Solonist Dracone, and today we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, my good buddy Rambler81 has challenged me to do a four black belt or four monk run of Final Fantasy 1. Uh, he actually suggested that I do it on the original NES version, but I'm the kind of guy that if they remake a classic game, and the remake is better in my opinion, I'm not going to go back to that old classic game. So, the uh, four monk combo actually is something that I'm actually a big proponent of. A lot of people gave the uh, class a lot of flack in the original game, and uh, that was probably because it wasn't made explicit that uh, they are actually extremely good if you take away all their gear. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, start up my uh, little party here. Uh, there are a lot of advantages to the monk class, uh, not the least of which is that they require absolutely nothing in the way of equipment. I mean, even, even putting any equipment on, weapons or uh, armor or otherwise, actually brings down their stats. Uh, another great thing about them is that they are extremely powerful as regards their uh, attacks, especially when you start getting into uh, later stages, then, you know, they start to become just so much more powerful. Uh, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. I'm renaming these things. Ichimi Sun. I like to name them basically just, um, you know, counting in Japanese. Ichimi Sun Chi. Go, Roku, Nanahachi. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna name them, you know, one, two, three, four, basically. Uh, I have a few things that uh, are true about me and uh, Final Fantasy 1, is that I like all my characters to level at the same time, and so um, it's going to be a challenge for me to keep that sort of thing going. Now, this is a very text-heavy game, and in the interest of saving my voice, I'm not going to read through all the dialogue. I'm going to let the dialogue go, and then I'm going to give it a good count of five before I have to move on. And I'm going to assume everybody's read anything that's needed to be read. I don't like reading all the stuff that's on the screen. It's, it's boring for me. So one of, the, uh, one of the great things about the original Final Fantasy is just how you could, you know, mix it up, so to speak. You could try, you know, one of each different class, or you couldn't do all the classes at once because it was a four-person limit. And there is a, um, you know, six to choose from. But um, it also was made pretty uh, cool for me by the fact that partway through the game, you get to upgrade your party to something a little bit more powerful. You get second class, so to speak. And this is actually, the original game is the uh, very basis of um, you know my own little mythos uh, planet Cardia, so to speak. The Cardia Islands are a place in this particular universe. So, you know, that's where I got the name for, you know, the fictional world in which my, my characters dwell. But I'm not going to go too far into that. This isn't uh, Solonis Dracone's fanfic. This is Solonis Dracone's playthroughs. So, yeah, here we go. Um, the mystery of the crystals, the earth began to rot and all that crap. So, right out of the gate, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove everything. Now, just take a look here. Attack 14. Um... I don't know what ACC is. Accuracy, I guess. Uh, defense and evasion. Uh, you know, 14, 13, 5, and 55. I equip stuff, and look. Look at that. My stats actually go down. If I remove the staff, I get one more of attack. If I remove the clothes, go a naked monk run here, I get much more defense and evasion. So, all the time, all the time with the monks, just naked monks, that's it. And this is very, very useful also because that means that not only are you not spending money on equipment, you have extra money to spend on the stuff you do need, uh, for instance, potions and whatnot. So uh, here's the good old town of Corneria. And uh, since these monks are not going to have anything to do but basically drink potions and fuck bitches, then I'm just going to go ahead and stock them up. There we go. Up, up, up been a while since I've played this game. And uh, this is a very grindy game for me too. I like to just get the levels up, you know, early on and, and smooth sail the rest of the way through. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, just get this mission started. Now unlike in the original NES version, um, you know, the, there are guards standing at all the entrances of town, so you have to get on this quest basically. So let's get on it.
Okay, we'll see the king. What's up, king? Yeah, it's true. See? Yep, we have come. You can't, but we've got crystals. See, we got crystals. Uh, will I not? No, I'll, I'll rescue her. Yeah, that, that sounds like Garland, all right. Good old Garland kidnapping princesses. Oh, Cornelia, excuse me. <laughs> Chaos Shrine. Oh, they attempted. I'm, I'm loving that. How did they attempt? He's the finest swordsman, huh? We'll see about that. What? Okay, hold on. Why is the bridge down in the first place? And in the second place, this is basically a public works project to reestablish trade with neighboring cities, and you're holding it hostage to us going and killing this this guy and saving your daughter. What gives, game? What gives? All right. So you know, dubious reasons for the for the king. To, to send us off. I mean, obviously we're going to save the princess because it's the right thing to do, but I mean, he's like, if, if you don't save the princess, I won't build the bridge. So I'm going to go ahead and make my first save here because I don't want to have to sit through that crap again. And yeah, I've, I've had, this is, there's a previous file that I've had and, and I named them 1234 in, in German speak, so yeah. My first order of business is I just want to get these guys up to level 3. I usually like to get to level 3. The cool thing about monks is you really don't have to do anything with them but just point and attack, that's it. So um, you'd think in a game like this that there's not a hell of a lot of danking that could be done. What could I do to dank this game? Well, my, my lovelies, you'll see when it gets to it, I'll let you know ahead of, ahead of time when it happens. But it's a good one. So yeah, as you can see right off the bat, I am doing some some pretty good damage. All right, let's let's record what kind of damage I'm doing. All right, 30 damage barefisted to an imp. Let me go ahead and equip the staff on my guys, and then we will see what kind of uh, damage difference it makes. So around 30-ish, unarmed. Let's do what we do. See, 15 half the damage with actual weapons in our hands. So, I mean, yeah, just once you've taken the equipment off the, the monks, leave them naked for the rest of the game. They will be the better for it. And you'd think, oh yeah, you gained a level. All this stuff increased. I'm just gonna skip through the stats because they're my stats. So yeah, again, <laughs> you just always want to leave monks naked. That's it. So, cool, I got a level up. And uh, let me go ahead and get one more. I think that's all I'm going to need to fight this chump garland. He's such a fine-ass swordsman that, you know, four kids with their bare fists are going to go take him down. Now, the, the game, um, you know, is supposed to be about finding treasures and, and going through the dungeons and just 
you know, pulling together the ultimate sensational, you know, gear for all your party. But you're kind of freed up from having to do that here, so I mean, mainly the, the draw for picking up treasure is going to be to sell it off and buy more potions and such, but really, I mean, we're going to be making money hand over fist just from killing enemies and grinding a little bit, so you know what? No, there's there's not there's not any reason to uh, spend more time than we have to inside of dungeons when we can just wander around and kill and get money. Ooh, crazy horse! Damn! All right, well I'm going to try this. Let me let me go ahead. You do not normally get a crazy horse this early on. I don't know why I did that. Ah, I should be okay. I just don't want any of my guys to die this early. That would just throw me off. Yeah, Crazy Horse, that's, that's some good EXP right there. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make a quick little drop-off at the end. And it's fun that, you know, in this game you get an actual save file that you can control. It used to be that the end was where you saved, and, and that was it. And you, this is back in the days also in the original Final Fantasy on the NES where you had to actually hold down the reset button while you pressed power, otherwise something bad would happen. I don't know. Okay, so all rested up and ready to go. Another save, and let us continue along our way. Alright, we, we're ready for this. I mean, look at us, we're, we're pumped. I'm gonna go ahead and take this video as far as, you know, I think after beating Garland, we're just going to go ahead and, and let the guys build the, the bridge. And I think that's going to be a nice long enough episode because with, with the fact that I'm going to be sitting here and, and letting all this dialogue happen on screen for everybody to read, that, um, you know, that's, that's going to make it for a long enough video. There's actually a couple danks you can do in this game, some real good farming areas that, you know, give, give you access to the types of experience you shouldn't be getting until much later in the game, so... Yeah, the Final Fantasy can be danked. The original Final Fantasy, you can, you know, get that uh, extra little bonus that you shouldn't have that early in the game, and then breeze through the rest of it. Now, for me, because this is this is Dawn of Souls, Final Fantasy One Advanced Dawn of Souls, I don't like the extra content. I'm not a fan of the extra stuff. You're not going to be seeing that in this playthrough. It's... I don't like it when they take an old classic game, redo it, and add extra dungeons to it that are just needlessly, complicatedly long, and they bear no storyline whatsoever. I don't, I don't like it when they do that, I'm sorry. Uh, it's one thing if they add it back in if they originally intended for it to be in the game, but there, there's no way that the content in Dawn of Souls, the extra content, could have been originally intended to go into the original game, so no, I don't buy it, and I'm not going to be doing that in this run. Sorry if I'm disappointing anyone. Oh, sorry. I'll read it. The king will have no choice but to exchange the kingdom for his daughter's life. Cornelia will be mine. Okay, no more reading from me. He's quite full of himself. Sure you will. Alright, so this is the big bad man himself. Let's see how long it takes. He does not have a ton of health. Wow, two rounds. That's that's amazing. <laughs> oh, and we gotta level up. Yay! Alright, we got the princess. Gather around, boys. Skids are greased. Oh, I can think of a way. <laughs> uh, I'm going to hell.
seriously, you guys don't have better soldiers among you than these four kids with their bare fists? <laughs> oh god. Well, I, I was there first. I guess you mean escort you. All right, all right. And then jump cut. No editing done, folks. Hey, no problem, King. Damn straight. I have a feeling you're going to, whether you may or not. Okay. Wait, on the continent to the north? No, maybe. I'd have to take a look at the world map. Yeah, you do that, okay? How, the, how did it get knocked down in the first place? I don't get it. Anyhow, so alright, um... You're supposed to talk to the princess, but you can't leave this room without talking to her, so if you try, look at her. She's just like, wait! Stop, senpai! Wow, that must be a damn well put together loot. Okay. Alright, the uh, guitar will aid me in my journey. Okay, cool. I mean, there, there isn't a bard class, but alright. I've obtained the loot! And that merits celebration. Alright, now can I go? Is that alright? Okay. Okay, so I'm heading on out. And that's, that's probably some of the heaviest dialogue you're gonna get in this game. Aside from this crap. Okay, so, so they were just kind of working beforehand. They were just like, eh, we're doing the job. And then this dude shows up like, alright, it's time to really work. Wow, that was really, really work. And then they, they fucking got the bridge built. Like, right before our eyes in like five seconds. What lazy chuckle fucks. Seriously, a bridge to another continent and you don't know what it could... Never mind. Video game logic. Yes, we are. Okay, so we had to sit through that. Let's let's go and rest, because we did gain a level. I prefer levels where we actually get some HP, but hey, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be a chooser. Oops. I probably got a skipped frame there. I accidentally hit the button that I've assigned to the frame skip. So that's going to look a little jerky, but no big deal. Okay. So, go ahead and save. Cool, and oops, went back in, All right? Head back out. So, yeah, you know, we just watched the bridge being built, and, uh, okay, one more little pain in the ass thing before we get to it. And we're going to be subjected to one more just god-awful, nauseating, long amount of dialogue. Uh, and then I'm going to end this video. Not the most exciting, I know, but, you know, mission statement and a little bit of proof. And, you know, then we'll just move on with things, so... Yeah, let's cross this bridge. Because we just came to it.
Oh lordy, and this was just as as painful to sit through in the original game as it is right now. You gotta sit through the birds flying away. And this OMG slow crawl text. Hmm. Got time to make a sandwich here. Really great task. So, where did these guys come from? You know, that's if, if they're the Warriors of Light, how did they get to Cornelia in the first place? And, and what land are they from? Because you don't go to a single town in this game that, that they recognize. You're like, oh, hey, I know you guys. So you have to make your own headcanon, almost. You know, got to got to make your own explanation for where these guys came from. Cause you know, I could see like the red, not the red wizard, but the white wizard when they they when you extend a white mage to a white wizard, uh, that you know they look a lot like the people from um, Lufania. So you know that that makes sense, and I I come up with my own headcanon that oh well the, you know the red wizard must be descended from them. Well, not the Red Wizard, I keep saying the Red The White Wizard must be descended from them. Holy moly. Ho oh, ho! Title drop. Roll credits. Okay, no, obviously that's not it. So, yeah, that's gonna be enough for this episode. Uh, I thought it was kind of boring, but hey, every every journey must start with a step. So, thanks for watching. I am Solonis Dracone, and this has been Final Fantasy Dawn of Souls.